off the Ford truck and go to a local auto parts store and pick up some parts. The bolts on the power steering pump were 5 8 The bolts on the alternator were 5 8 on the front and 9 16 on the back. So after I get the new belts, I'll install them and I'll shoot a video on how to put them on. But basically all you do is just slide the belt into the groove, adjust the tension, and tighten them back up. All right, so I stopped by O'Reilly's yesterday and picked up two new belts for the truck. So I'm changing the power steering and alternator belt on it. So I've got the power steering belt put on. I just gotta tighten it up. All right, alternator belt is installed. The alternator belt ran on to the crank and the alternator, and that was it. The power steering belt ran the water pump, lower crank, and the power steering pump. Again, about these at O'Reilly's. Not a sponsor, but you know, local park store always does good by me. So, right, with both new belts installed, the next project on the truck is going to be the heater cooler. So like, follow, and subscribe to see the next part of the truck video. Now just to make sure everything's good, we're going to do a start on the truck to make sure that we don't swing off any belts. And one thing that I always do if I ever buy a replacement part for a vehicle is I always stick the package that it came in for the belts. So that I have some guidance for the next time I need one in case I'm out somewhere and the belt's wore out and I swung it off and there's no way to get it. any other measurement for the belt. At least this way I have the original wrappers to go by. It has the measurements on it of what was on the truck when it swung it off. Because, you know, you never can tell when you might lose the belt. It don't happen that often, but it is possible. But it's a little bit of advice that I always use.